Hey there, my fellow lunatics, Dake and the Mad here, and we are going to go over several different methods for quickly leveling up your pets. With the new Paws and Claws update, we've got eight very useful pets who can easily help us as we're exploring the various biomes in Core Keeper. And if you need advice on how to get the pet eggs, what to do with these eggs once you have them, and what skills the pets have, please check out my Beginner's Guides to Pet video, link above as well as in the description. Now, the pets all have 10 levels, and they gain their experience points one of two ways. First is from items. They can find these items in crates, chests, and these things also drop off of bosses. You've got the pet pellet, which gives 50 experience points. You've got the rare candy, which gives 500 experience points. And you've got the beast booster, which gives 5,000 experience points. The other way for pets to gain experience is to damage and kill enemy mobs. So you will likely use a combination of both of these methods as you are working your way with your pets from levels 1 to 10, exploring around, getting some XP from kills, then, oh look, you find some rare candy, or you find a, you know, one of those pet pellets, and you feed that and give them a little boost, and then you kill more creatures. That's the most common way, but that's not necessarily the fastest way. So we're going to go over four methods here that I have found that can quickly level up your pets. These are not the only ways to quickly level up your pets. These are just the four more efficient ways that I found that I thought these are worth sharing. The first one we're gonna talk about is boss killing. This will work with any boss. I prefer the slime bosses for this because you don't have the timer that you do with the Titans. So you can just keep on resummoning them. And I have chosen Ivy for the main reason that Ivy is just a little bit more accessible. She has a lot more hit points than Glurch does, but she's not nearly as difficult to kill as Morpha or as uh, Igneous. Now, if you find Morpha to be very easy to kill, do Morpha. But... Ivy is also a little bit quicker. You know, you're going to get access to Ivy pretty early in the game, right after you've gotten past the Great Wall. You can find her and you can start farming her if you want to uh, level up. I say her, it's a slime. It's just habit. The one thing that I have learned is that your pets gain experience points whenever you do damage to creatures. So when I am hitting the boss, my pet is gaining experience as I am attacking. The more damage I do does not equal more experience points for the pet. It's hits. So I want to do more hits. In this case, I am not going to buff myself before I fight this boss because otherwise I'm just going to kill her too quickly and I'm not going to get as many hits in. So I actually, in this case, want to lower my damage and do a little bit less not so much that I get myself killed, mind you, but enough that I'm in control, but also still not killing them super quick. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mining set. So my mining set isn't that great on damage. I mean, when you compare it to my Thorns build, my Thorns build does 600, up to 600 damage without buffs or anything else on top of it. So this does about half of that. Plus it's crit chance is much lower, it's crit damage is much lower, and you're not getting the thorns benefits on your attacks because I'm not wearing the scarab armor. So I'm gonna do significantly less damage with this set on, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and wear while we do this fight. So after killing slime bosses, how many slimes did I end up having to kill in order to get my pet all the way to level 10? Well, it was actually a lot more than I thought it was going to be, but it doesn't actually surprise me too much. All in all, it took a total of 32 boss kills to get my pet from level 1 to level 10. It took one boss kill to get from level 1 to 5, one boss kill for level 6, two for level 7, four for level 8, 8 for level 9, and 16 to get to level 10. Essentially, it doubled every single time. 
So this was going to take a little while if you want to go this route, but it is still faster than just roaming around and killing things and getting power ups wherever you can. Earlier, I said that when you're using the harder bosses for the slime bosses, you will be able to gain more experience points because they'll have more hit points and therefore you will um, not need to summon nearly as many. The best one, obviously, for that is Igneous. If you can handle Igneous, if you can take him on pretty easily, don't use Ivy, don't use Morpha, use Igneous. He is by far the best. The only reason I recommend Ivy or Morpha is just because they're easier slime bosses and more people have access to them and can actually kill them. If you are at a point where you can use Igneous, do Igneous. All right, the numbers are in, and after fighting Igneous multiple times, I was able to get my pet from levels one to seven with a single kill. Then I got him to level eight with another kill. Then it took three more kills to get to level nine. And then it took six more kills to get to level 10. So that's a total of 11 Igneous kills as opposed to, I believe it was 32 IV kills significant difference however the boss is also significantly more challenging and the amount of gear that you have and the amount of just general skill level and just time you have had to have played the game is much higher ivy is more entry level boss so depending on where you are in the game that's the slime boss you're going to want to use in order to farm up those pet levels let's move on to the next option shall we our second option for getting your pet all the way up from levels one to 10 will be feeding them the food that you can get. It takes 20 of the beast boosters to get your pet from level one to 10. It takes one beast booster to get them to level five. It takes one to get them to level six, two to get to level seven, four to get to level eight. It's just like with the bosses. It's literally the same number of bosses. It's just in this case, it is beast boosters that you have to take instead of bosses that you have to kill. When it comes to rare candy, you're going to need 10 times the number. So that means you're gonna need 200 rare candies to get from level one to level 10. And for the pet pellets, you're going to need 10 times that, which means if you're only using pet pallets, you're gonna need 2000 pet pallets to get from level one to level 10. I don't recommend using them. If you're gonna use food, beast booster is really the way to go. You're gonna get beast booster off of boss kills. So if you're trying to level up multiple pets, maybe kill a bunch of slimes to level up your pets and while you're doing that collect the beast booster that you get off of those kills and then when you have 20 beast boosters that's enough to take another pet up to level 10. a useful strategy if you have multiple pets that you need to get up to level 10 so that you can consolidate kind of what you're doing and kill two birds with one stone but let's go ahead and take a look at our third option so I'm standing here in the middle of four spawn cells and I have carved out kind of a, a circle around with 11 tiles in every spawn cell. That is a lot more than I actually need. I only need about seven or eight to get to 90% spawn chance, but I jacked it up just a little bit to be safe. And what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna fill this area with purple slime. And that is going to basically give me a miniature purple slime farm that is within four spawn cells. So I should be getting one purple slime about every five minutes or so. I'm gonna place down all the slime tiles here. All right, now I'm gonna cover all of them with conveyor belts that are going to be moving toward the left. I wanna funnel all of them in one direction. Now you don't have to do yours horizontally, you can do yours vertically. You don't have to funnel to the left, you can funnel to the right. You can funnel up, you can funnel down. But you wanna be in four spawn cells. If you wanna make it even bigger and extend it out to even more spawn cells, go for it. But you don't have to. All right, so at this point, we have got everything funneling me up and out to this, to this one place that I'm standing on. So you're gonna get rid of this block so that none of the mobs can attack. None of them can reach you. 
Now what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up just swinging with your weapon or with your bare hand. You can hit with your spear. If you know, if you've got an iron sword here, your sword will work. Essentially, you're able to swing up into this tile that we're pushing all of the spawn into and they can't hit you. So the first thing we have to do is we need to let this build up for a while. So let's walk away a little bit to here. And I'm going to go AFK for, I don't know, three or four hours probably. Uh, you you need to, you really need to give this time to build up because you want this to be as full of mobs as you can. All right, so it has been overnight. I went to sleep and just let this thing run. And now I am packed full of slimes. You don't necessarily have to wait as long as I have, but I wanted to have so many that I wouldn't have to worry about it. Now, I recommend using this farming method for melee pets because the ranged pets will help you attack these things. And while it's still going to work for the ranged ones, it's not going to work as well just because they are helping you do extra damage. And we're trying to do as little damage as possible. I've also gone ahead and I've turned off all of my soul abilities because I don't want to accidentally do extra damage. And I have spent the ancient coins to completely reset my melee skill. The whole goal here is for my melee damage to be as low as I can possibly make it. I'm going to go ahead and use this wooden shovel. This will give me the reach that I need while at the same time giving me pretty low damage. So I'm just going to swing. And you can see I'm sitting here and I'm hitting a couple of them because they're packed in pretty tight. But you'll also notice that they're flashing green, which means they're healing. That means that they're not in combat with me. So they're going to keep healing at pretty regular speeds. My pet here is going to keep getting experience points. And I'm just going to go ahead and hold down the space bar so that you can see that I'm doing so little damage and they're healing so quickly that while I may kill a couple of them here and there, for the most part, they're gonna heal faster than I'm gonna be able to kill them. And as a result, I'm not gonna actually get rid of any of these guys. This, this, this chunk is just gonna be here forever of mobs and I'm gonna keep swinging, I'm gonna keep hitting and the experience points of my pet are just gonna keep on going up. I can put a heavy object on the space bar. In fact, I just did. And as long as you have more wooden, um, more wooden shovels, then you're not gonna have to worry about this at all. Now, you are gonna need a bunch of wooden shovels. As you can see right now, I'm just swinging at the air because my wooden shovel broke. So I went ahead and just made a whole bunch of wooden shovels here just to help with the point. Again, heavy object on spacebar, and I'm swinging away. This will get your pet from level 1 to level 10, and you don't have to do anything. It takes a little bit of time. You are going to have to keep an eye on your um, shovel count, because eventually you will run out of shovels, and you're, you won't be able to hit the enemy anymore, because they'll be just slightly out of reach. I'm going to go ahead and stop attacking now. But this is a nice AFK way for you to be able to level your pets up from level 1 to level 10. Like I said, it works better for the melee pets, but it will also work for the ranged pets. And here I've switched out to a fan here, so this one does ranged damage. Let's just go ahead and do the same thing so that you can see. The fan here is going to help me periodically shooting. Now at first that's not going to be that big of a deal, but as they level up and start to do more and more base damage, they're eventually going to start doing enough damage that they actually can kill the slimes before the slimes get a chance to heal. And so uh, as they reach those higher levels, level seven, eight, nine, especially up there, then you are going to slowly whittle down some of your uh, slimes in the farm, which is why I have such a large count of them stacked up here so that we can afford to have some die and still be able to reach our goals. And then the final way that I have got to help you level up your pets very quickly is flat out cheating. I'm not going to lie, 99.9% .9 of you are not going to want to use this method because 
it is cheating. But I know that there's going to be at least one or two of you out there who's like, I don't care about all the time it takes. I don't care about all of the little ways that it's actually required to get these guys to level 10. I just want a level 10 pet. If you want to skip everything and skip the game and skip all of that stuff and just get your level 10 pet, you're going to need a mod. And that mod is chat commands. Check out my video on modding to see how to install and how to use the mods. But once you have chat commands, it is very, very simple. You can summon in whatever you want. I am going to go ahead and give myself a cracked, if I can spell, nimble egg and there's a cracked nimble egg i don't even have to wait for the incubator all right great and now i have a brand new fan hair and now i want that fan hair to be level 10 so i'm just going to give myself beast booster 20. And now i've got 20 more beast boosters and i can equip this and i can just instantly get my pet all the way up to level 10 by just feeding him the beast boosters that I spawned in and it's done. Takes a minute and a half. That's the cheater's way to do it. But if that's the way you want to do it, that is one way that you can get it done. And that's it folks. Four different ways that you could use in order to quickly level up your pets. My personal favorite is the slime bosses, and that's because it kind of kills two birds with one stone. I can sit there killing the slime bosses and leveling up my pets while at the same time collecting rare candy and beast boosters that I can use to level up other pets. That combination is a pretty good combo in my opinion in order to get yourself multiple pets leveled up very quickly without putting in all that much effort. As long as you've got the slime idols in order to summon what you need to summon, you're good to go. However, if you don't have all those slime idols, maybe one of my other methods would work well for you. And if you just want to get it done, well, I've got a method for that too. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for future content, share this with your friends. And until next time, stay crazy.